Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for March 1st to the 7th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel, JWZ Mysteries. And all the information is in the description box below. The next things I'm going to be releasing on that channel is something that's going to be pretty spooky. So if you're a fan of that, you may want to check out my second channel. And also, guys, for personal readings, um, the only way you can get a personal reading with me is to go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box in the description box below. Um, I don't reach out to you in comments for a reading. Only way is if you want a reading with me, you have to come to me and get a reading because I know that some of you guys have emailed me about people who've reached out to you on Facebook and Instagram and even in the comments about reading. Um, nope, the only place to get a reading is at my website. All right, just giving you a heads up, that's all. All right, so we're gonna be going over the day to day, the love interest feelings, uh, the blockages, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both, let's jump right in. All right, so what's gonna happen with my Libra's Romantic Love Life for March 1st to the 7th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look here. We got the Queen of Swords. We got the Four of Wands, wow, okay. We got the Queen of Wands. So far, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Energy. We got the Seven of Wands. We got the Nine of Wands. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. And the World Card, Energy. Let's see your love interest feelings. Wow, Nine of Cups. Looks like they definitely really want you here with the Nine of Cups, Energy. Okay. Two of Wands. Blockage. Page of Wands, Aries, said could be a younger fire sign, could be a part of the blockage, or um, I get the sense of exploring new options, new um, possibilities, possibly with the Page of Wands energy. Okay, doesn't have to be a younger fire sign, just could be coming out that way. All right, so we got the Three of Swords, we got the Six of Swords, and we have the King of Wands as the final card, Aries, said Aries, Leo energy. So we see that there's a decision Justice can talk about just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, okay? And we see there is some kind of huge offer here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. Someone's presenting something to you. Pentacles have to do with marriage, uh, money, long term, okay, children, okay? So we see, and there's also this potential opportunity of passion there. Um, and someone is concerned about missing some kind of opportunity here. So let's clarify, let's use Let's use this deck. I like this deck. This deck is uh, fun. All right, so first of all, let's find out what this blockage is about. Why is a page of wands here? Why is a page of wands here? Why is a page of wands here? So there was this, this there's about to be this big uh, shock and surprise. It looks like it's, uh, it's gonna come out of nowhere. Somebody's concerned about being disappointed because of some kind of secrets, or we see um, concerns about some kind of gift that was received. Okay, what's that about? Someone who's been watching you from afar, spying on you? All right, let's see what that's about. Okay. So I get the sense that this is, this is your person. They could be concerned that someone is got your eye, okay? Because it is interesting, because you got the Queen of Wands here, which shows me that you guys are a very attractive this week. You know, you're definitely attracting other people that are checking you out, looking at you. So we see this is going to be March 1st, March 2nd, March 3rd, March 4th, March 5th, March 6th, and March 7th. Libra, feel free, come back, check this out. Let me know how it plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. Also, if this database is confusing at all, just stick with me till the end. We're going to go over everything. I'm going to make it very clear cut. So. First of all, let's find out why, what's going on here, okay, with this Queen of Swords here for the first. So it looks like this person is like trying to be real. They're like, I want to speak my truth to you. I want to tell you this. What do they want to tell you? Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. All right. What's going to happen, Libras? 
Romantic Love Life, March 1st to the 7th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So this is going to be that surprise. So this is going to be a surprise, okay? They want to speak with you about something that they were surprised about. Okay, what's that about? So my Libra's Romantic Love Life. March 1st to the 7th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, so they're going to speak to you about this truth, about some kind of surprise that they had, or they have a surprise for you, something that was unexpected, and you're going to make, have to make a decision about it. Okay, Spirit. But the next card we see, what could the surprise be? Four wands can be a house, a home, a marriage, okay? A stable foundation, a celebration. What is this? Okay, what is this? Yep, we have a gift coming in. So you guys are getting some kind of gift from someone here. Some kind of an invitation, okay? Surprise invitation. Let's go there. Let's see. Yeah, surprise invitation, surprise gift. Speaking the truth about the celebration, this happy home, this home, solid foundation, or marriage. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Let's keep going here. Let's put another card in here. The timing is right. Things are aligning in your favor, so luck is on your side. And we see, why is this being presented? Well, we got the Queen of Wands, because you're looking very attractive, very sexy, okay? And this person is presenting this gift, giving you the surprise, or giving you this invitation, because they want to find out something, all right? We see, want to gain knowledge about, hey, let's go out, let's socialize, okay. They want to find out where they stand with you with other people, okay? Because that's what I got the sense of with the blockage. This person's like, oh, I saw, I saw them flirting with someone. You know, I saw them, you know, uh, interacting with this person. Because it was like someone was spying on you. They were looking at you from afar. Maybe you didn't notice it. But we see that they want to make a decision. They feel like the timing is right. And they're like, all right, I need to find out what's going on with Libra with these other people. All right. Or for some of you, they, they could be giving you some kind of invitation to go out and to socialize. Something that's uh, at a home, okay, Four of Wands energy, could be some kind of celebration because Four of Wands can represent some kind of celebration because the gift card is like the bouquet card of Lenormand. It can represent an invitation, okay? And it's something of a surprise for you guys. It was not expected. So we see, I'm trying to defend my position, okay? This is happening on the fourth. I wanna defend my position because I'm receiving little value, okay? This could be saying receiving little value. This could be saying receiving a little bit, receiving a little bit of a bonus, okay? Receiving something that was unexpected, okay? Are you single and available to pursue? I'm a little bit cautious and defensive here, okay? A little bit cautious and defensive here, why? Because of a marriage, of a commitment, because something to do with a wife for some of you guys, And I don't know if you're telling me the truth. Deception card. I don't know if you're being honest with me. Are you single and available to pursue? Is there someone else here? Or is this, this relationship going to go somewhere? Okay, so we see that Queen of Cups is saying, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. There's a debating going on when it comes to emotions. What should I do here? Should I give my heart to this person or not? Is there love and devotion or is it not? Okay, we see that there's communication coming in, text message letter, document, okay, what's that about? Presenting some kind of opportunity to you, key card energy. And we see the world card is saying, well, will I have a sense of accomplishment? Is something completed around this situation? Uh, do you want to travel with me, an opportunity to travel, an opportunity to complete this, an opportunity to close out this cycle? So what does this mean? Let's talk about what the world card mean, could mean. The world card is when you have a situation where, hey, I'm dating you. Hey, let's, I wanna be engaged. All right, I'm, in, I'm, I'm engaged to you, I wanna be married. Okay, so the world card is saying, I wanna take this to another level of a, of a commitment, right? So there's, I wanna accomplish something here. So what is it? When it comes to some kind of deceptions, clearing up deceptions, okay. And let's see what that's about. 
to gain some kind of knowledge. All right, definitely seems the week for it. Uh, I have seen this with other signs. This is why I tell you guys, check your sun, moon, rising sign. Because it seemed, I know that there was another sign where they were trying to get clarity on where they stood in the connection. And this is very similar to that. So we see very soon there's going to be a decision that's going to be made. The, the timing is right. Uh, we see people involved in the situation or concerns of people. Are you single and available to pursue? Are you being honest with me? Do we really have this opportunity? I want to know. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, a lot of soul searching going on to try to bring things into balance because of concerns of like cutting away unhealthy things from the past because of an X energy and really cautious and defensive about that. So it's possible that there's concerns that somebody is still dealing with their ex, okay? And it's like, all right, what's going on with this situation? Are you still dealing with this person? You know, are you still married to this person? Okay, are you still dealing with that ex-wife? Okay, so that could be the case or ex-husband for some of you guys. So we see, uh, we see that um, there's a surprise and a gift that's given to gain some kind of knowledge because of wanting to receive some kind of positive turn of events. We see something to do with this wife, this commitment, and a letter, message, or document about these deceptions. So communication going on about these deceptions or to clear the, clear the air. And we see speaking a truth about a marriage, a happy home, the attractive energy of you, to defend their position about the cautious and defensive energy. And we see a lot of going back and forth about emotions. I want to feel like there's going to be an accomplishment and completion in this connection. Are we, are we going somewhere, right? Is something going to be accomplished here? Are we going to complete this cycle? All right, we'll call it energy. And if I look at the numbers of this, Queen of Swords is saying, I want to speak my truth, all right, about stability and stableness, and I've been patient, and I've been thinking about this, you fulfill my desires. I've been patient, and I want to accomplish something here. Okay? So let's move into your love interest feelings. Love interest feelings is saying, I want you. I want to have passion exercises with you, and I want you to make a choice. I, like, I love hanging out with you, and I want to commit to enjoying your attention, right? Because this represents commitment. So we see celebration and commitment to enjoying your intention, your attention. So it's like, this is the peacock card. This person really finds you very beautiful and attractive, right? Um, they have a good time going out with you at a restaurant or at celebrations, and you know, you're a lot of fun to be around. They feel a cheerful energy. They may also want to commit here with the, uh, wedding card energy, all right? Because we see that there is some kind of lack of commitment right now, possibly with this person. And they're like, Real, I realize I want you. We have been having passionate stuff together, all right? And I want to make a choice here. I want a happy outcome with you towards a commitment and an offer, Ace of Pentacles energy. Or I don't want money and finance to get in the way of our connection. All right, so let's go back to this blockage here. And let's look at this page of wands. So the page of wands is there as the blockage. Somebody wants to have a sigh of relief. They want to make sure, okay, you know, are you flirting with this person? Are you not flirting with this person? I'm at a crossroads. So that's the blockage there. There's concern about some kind of flirting or looking into someone new, you know. Um, it's just a sense of, I want a sigh of relief. So you can see here, someone's coming at you saying, hey, Libra, I'm really heartbroken, I'm sad, right? I'm really heartbroken, I'm sad. I want to be in a joyful energy. And what could be the heartbroken and sadness about? Well, there's three people in this card, there's three people in this sword, okay? And we see something to do with family and family conflict. So obviously there is somebody who has, or has still a kind of attached to a family here, okay? So going further um, to the next card, Six of Swords is saying, all right, I want to travel towards you. I want to overcome these obstacles. 
because I'm stuck and I'm communicating with you about this. King of Wands is saying, you're the best decision for me when it comes to my chemistry and passion. I have strong, strong chemistry for you. I'm gonna have a conversation about this because I have strong chemistry and passion for you, okay? So again, we're seeing, are you committing, right? Are you sticking around? And the King of Wands is sticking around, so that's good. So there's a conversation about this person like, yeah, I have strong chemistry with you, and yes, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so there is strong desires here to be happy, Ten of Cups energy, and to invest time in the connection. Healing this situation with this friend and concerns of sad news. Waiting around to see how things are going to play out. Seven of Pentacles energy and trying to be patient. Queen of Pentacles energy. And we see King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Wow, there could be two people here with the King of Cups or this could just be one person. And it's like, I want to wait around here and I want this to grow into a love situation or I'm falling in love with you with the King of Cups energy. Okay. Waiting around for good news and love and a relationship. And I've been waiting for this. Three of Wands energy. Travel, movement or change from this sense of despair from this pleasure seeking. Yep, that's exactly what's going on. Okay, so let's bring it all together as a whole. So your person is really obsessed with you, really strongly attached to you. They have concerns about other people. They want a relationship with you, okay? It's something that they've been waiting for. They wanna make sure that there's love here and there's good news and love. They wanna move away from this despair and this pleasure seeking and they wanna have a sense of happiness here and knowing something is stable with the patience card. There's stress and worry here and a lot of regrets about what happened in the past and they want clarification here because right now they're confused about where they stand in the connection. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice from my Libras? When it comes to their love connection for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Spirit is saying to um, find an easy path forward and surrender to the outcome. Go with the flow. Be compassionate to this person and you're going to be delighted. You're going to count your blessings and take pleasure in the simple things. Expect the best. So it's like you're saying you're going to get what you want here. Nine, uh, nine of Cups here because this is like wish fulfillment card. Ask for help and support and get ready to receive. Well, some of you guys are receiving uh, some kind of gift this week, okay? Something of tangible value, okay? Because it's saying be open to receiving goodness and believe that you are worthy of abundance. However, Spirit is saying you always have choices. You have freedom of choice here. We see that there is this reinventing yourself and a time to be in a joyful awareness living in the moment. All right, my beautiful Libras, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Also, my beautiful darlings, I do read my comments, so I do love hearing from you guys. So if you claim this reading, if this reading resonates with you, if you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I hope you guys have a beautiful day or night, wherever you are, whenever you see this message, and I will see you guys soon.